Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Just in, entire DNC about to be demolished after secret audio leaks. They have everything. The progressive left is up to shady business as usual. As yet another government ethics watchdog group filed a complaint with the Federal Elections Commission (FEC) due to potential violations to campaign finance laws. The Foundation for Accountability and Civic Trust or FACT filed their complaint with the FEC on Tuesday after audio from a secretly recorded conversation revealed the Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee tipped the scales in favor of their preferred candidate. As a result of their attempts to fix the election results, they may have violated campaign finance laws in the process. The secret recording of the conversation between House Minority Whip Stanny Hoyer and Levi Tilleman, a Democrat candidate for the 6th Congressional District in Colorado, was made last December. The audio became public knowledge after The Intercept published it in April 2018 after obtaining Tilleman's consent. Tilleman requested some names and private information be edited out prior to its release. The complaint alleges, the DCCC reportedly picked Crow as its preferred candidate to win the 2018 Colorado House primary race and took action to assist its favored candidate. According to a recorded conversation between Democratic leader House Minority Whip Stanny Hoyer and another primary candidate, the DCCC supported Crow and requested the opposing candidate leave the race multiple times and make way for Crow. Six other candidates also reported that the DCCC did not provide them with the same resources it provided to Crow. One stated that the DCCC gave polling data to Crow. They made other resources available to Crow that they did not make available to me, such as email lists for fundraising purposes. The Washington Free Beacon reports on the audio recording, Hoyer makes plain to Tilleman in the recording that some higher-ups in the Democratic Party preferred Army veteran and corporate lawyer Jason Crow be the party's nominee in the district. The Intercept's story on the audio included a quote from David Aristad, who by that time had dropped out of the same race. But, they, the DCCC, made polling data available to Crow that they did not make available to me, Aristad was quoted as saying. They made other resources available to Crow that they did not make available to me, such as email lists for fundraising purposes. Fact wrote in its complaint that the polling data and email lists were in kind contributions that appear not to have been reported, but should have been. Candidate reporting requirements exist to prevent corruption and ensure transparency in our elections, which is something the DCCC showed a blatant disregard for in this case, Kendra Arnold, FACT's executive director, said in a statement. What's equally disturbing is that this type of Machiavellian behavior has been endorsed by House Democratic leader Nancy Pelosi, Arnold added. The 6th District of Colorado is one of the most competitive and hotly contested House races in the country. The seat is currently held by Republican Mike Kaufman, a former Marine, and state treasurer who is now serving his fifth term. Kaufman has managed to defeat formidable Democratic opponents in his last two elections, one of which was the former Speaker of the Colorado House and another was the President of the State Senate. Fact alleges that the key component of the allegations is determining a monetary value in the email lists and polling in actual hard dollars and cents. The complaint argues based upon the industry standard, the value of the polling information and mailing lists likely exceeded the $5,000 limit on in-kind contributions. Hoyer speaks frankly about Crow status as the preferred candidate in the audio recording according to The Intercept's transcript dash. Yeah, I'm for Crow, Hoyer explained. I am for Crow because a judgment was made very early on. I didn't know Crow. I didn't participate in the decision. But a decision was made early on by the Colorado delegation, he said, referencing the three House Democrats elected from Colorado. So your position is, a decision was made very early on before voters had a say. And that's fine because the DCCC knows better than the voters of the 6th Congressional District, and we should line up behind that candidate," asked Tilleman during the conversation. That's certainly a consequence of our decision," responded Hoyer. This playing of favorites by the Democratic Party has prompted massive outcry even from leftist factions as this appears to be a growing pattern hearkening back to the Democratic primary and revelations that Bernie Sanders had more votes than Hillary Clinton in the 2016 presidential election. Yet Hillary was given the nomination because she was the preferred candidate of the Democratic Party. The release of the audio of the conversation prompted reporters to question House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi on the issue and sparked an outcry from more progressive wings of the party about the DCCC playing favorites. In terms of candidates and campaigns I don't see anything inappropriate in what Mr. Hoyer was engaged in, a conversation about the realities of life in the race as to who can make the general election, she told reporters. Both Tilleman and Crow met sufficient requirements to be on the primary ballot. 
voting runs for the majority of June and concludes on June 26. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.